Hello and welcome back to Ducoscopy TV. You're watching this week's first Targets in Focus interview where we take a look at some of the most traded currency pairs. Keeping you up to date with his predictions of the US dollar against the Aussie dollar, Euro and Japanese yen is Joseph Capurso, currency strategist for Commonwealth Bank of Australia. Joseph, thank you for joining me down the line. Now, before we discuss your chosen currency pairs, can you tell myself and the viewers your take on how currency markets have been performing in the early stages of the trading week? Sure. Well, well, both uh, Aussie and Euro started the week uh, softer. Uh, there was a bit of concern about uh, Merkel and Hollande disagreeing over the timing of the, of the banking union. Uh, also, uh, stock markets in Asia and in early Europe uh, have been rather soft, and that's undermined support for both Aussie and Euro, but uh, support of the safe haven uh, yen, which has uh, been hovering very close to uh, 78 uh, today. So let's take a look at the Aussie dollar, US dollar. The pair finished last week on a high on the back of some well-received Chinese data. But what is your outlook in the short, mid and long term? Sure. Uh, Aussie uh, in the near term, uh, we think it's going to head lower, uh, primarily because uh, commodity prices uh, have been falling on, uh, on the back of uh, softer Chinese uh, economic data. Uh, but uh, in terms of the medium term outlook, uh, we think that uh, in about a year's time, uh, the Aussie will eventually recover to around 104, and that's because we think that the Reserve Bank of Australia uh, will not cut its interest rate as much as the market thinks. Uh, the market pricing has 100 basis points of uh, rate cuts by the RBA, uh, but we think it's most likely to only get another 25 basis points of cuts. As you mentioned, the euro has been trading lower amid merkel holland disagreement over banking union. Do you foresee this trend to continue, though? I think uh, the euro is going to, in the near term is going to head, head towards 125, 126. I think the euro was uh, overbought in the lead up to the uh, ECB and the Fed's latest policy meeting. But I think ultimately, the uh, reality of the eurozone's long recession and the risks of the ECB's uh, outright market transactions policy will eventually weigh on the euro. So I think in the near term, expect euro to head back to 125. Uh, but beyond the, the near term, I think in a year from now, uh, euro should eventually uh, recover to around 130, and that will reflect the eventual recovery of the eurozone out of recession. And last but not least, the dollar-yen. I understand you're quite bullish for this pair. What are your reasons for this? Sure. Um, in the near term, I think very low global bond yields and enough uncertainty about the, uh, the global economy is going to keep the yen very well supported. So I think in the next uh, one to three months, uh, the yen is going to be trading in a 78 to 79 uh, range. Uh, but eventually, in about a year from now, uh, the world economy should show stronger signs of recovery. Uh, that will push up global bond yields and uh, see dollar yen tick higher. I think uh, you're likely to see dollar yen rise to 81, 82 in a year from now. Very interesting, Joseph. But in your opinion, which currency is performing best at present? I think it's it, well, it's mainly the, the US dollar, um, particularly against against the euro. I think I think that would be uh, the best near term trade. Uh, a lot of good news has been uh, priced into the euro, and I think it's inevitable that that eventually will uh, come out of the market. Joseph, thank you very much for your insights today. It's been a pleasure speaking to you. Well, that's all from Joseph and myself, but click back to Ducoscopy for a look at the week ahead interview with my colleague Jennifer Cordenley. Bye for now.